Hi, Acadia, and I'm Dave Baker. It's Tuesday, July the 19th, and here's a look at news making headlines today. More than 41 years after her death, a young woman who died on Interstate 10 in Bro Bridge has been identified. The woman, Michelle Oaks Gotro, was struck and killed by a car while walking on I-10 on December the 5th of 1981. She was 26 years old. In Jeff Davis, the family of a Lake Arthur College student who was shot and killed earlier this month in Calcasieu Parish is questioning the circumstances surrounding his death. Calcasieu deputies say Joseph Tizeno was shot and killed by a homeowner who believed Tizeno was trying to break in. The McNeese student was attending a party in the neighborhood. Investigators believe he was drunk and tried to go into the wrong house. No charges have been filed against the homeowner. In a statement, the Tizeno family attorney questions if the killing could have been averted, saying trespassing by a young black man should not result in a death sentence, end quote. Attorney Todd Clemens is asking anyone who has information about the incident to contact his late Charles office. In Lafayette Parish, we now know the name of the woman who was shot and killed in Lafayette Sunday night in an apparent roommate dispute. Kiswana Latham was 30 years old and from California. Her roommate, Ricky Matthews, is under arrest facing a second degree murder charge. In Iberia Parish, the new Iberia Police Department is reinstating its COVID protocols. The front lobby will only be open for people needing copies of previously documented incidents. The front lobby will be restricted to one person at a time and masks are required. Anyone needing to file a police report is asked to contact the non-emergency number that you see there on your screen. And happening this week, free COVID tests, vaccines, and boosters will be offered at the MLK Rec Center in Lafayette. That'll happen Wednesday from 3 until 6. Anyone under the age of 17 must have a parent or guardian present. Call the number that you see there on your screen for more information. Oh, we got ourselves a hot one coming up over the next couple of days. 95 to 96 degrees with mostly sunny skies. We are very, very quiet coming up here through the rest of this week. Now, can't rule out a sea breeze shower or two. Keep rain chances at about 10%. Although rainfall certainly looking unlikely, maybe slightly higher chances by the end of the week, but you're still talking 20, 30% at best. We stay hot, we stay humid, we stay pretty quiet all the way through the next 10 days.